Hey, hey. Hey. How are you, you guys? doing? Oh, just uh, catching up on some of the stuff I've missed on the channels. I don't think I'm getting my email updates as much anymore. I wonder if Google is spam filtering them. Well, on the team accounts or on like personal ones? But yeah, my personal one. Yeah, I'm not getting I'm not getting like Slack notifications as much anymore, which I think is wrong. I don't like Slack notifications. It just fills your emails up with non information. It's like it does, but it also kind of helps me know like what what I care about and like what I should be paying attention to or how much activity there's going on on like the many channels of which I'm. Yeah, part. if I'm yeah, I'm in I'm being I'm borderline in every channel. I don't think I quite am, but it's nearly. Um, if you need, like, there is um, inside the notification system, you can privatize words that you want to be notified by. So if there's certain phrases or certain statements that you want to make sure you're aware of, it's just maybe something to track. I don't know. Yes, that could be useful. It was just kind of doing what I wanted it to do, but just now I feel like it's maybe Google's eating my emails because I feel like people are talking to me and I don't even find out about it till like, later. <laughs> I mean, I don't have my emails live, so that's one of the reasons. I don't. I like. I don't get email notifications on my phone and stuff. I don't like that. My girlfriend. Oh, I don't does. like that either. I'm oh. just like go away. I, I look at you when I want to. I don't need you telling me when to look at you. It's the same with me, but I do check them like very, very often. So I do still kind of use them as a gauge, even though I don't have my phone blowing up because that's just unlivable. Oh man, um, I just realized I didn't format the calendar invite very well. Um, looks like it's 10, uh, so we got a few of us here. Looks like people are just joining. Maybe Archer changed the settings so that I don't I, have to. I, and... I, changed, I changed one of them so people don't have to like be permitted in. That's nice. Because it's just, just, an, it's just an inconvenience. I hope that There's that doesn't come back to that... be a problem later, but in the meantime, it is very convenient. Just, yeah, it's just like people can join. It's like we're, the only people who are joining are, are people who know about these things. So, and the, and it, the host can kick them out if someone randomly turns up who doesn't want to be here or shouldn't be here. But otherwise, <laughs> it's not. They got to learn where the kick kick them out button is. Then obviously, since I'll be uh, posting a little more often. So I guess there are enough people here. I can share it for those who haven't seen there we have sort of a now like a, a an alternating system for hosting the calls because just it can be a lot of responsibility for one person so i signed up for monday wednesday so you'll all get to see my shining face on monday and wednesday looking over tired um <laughs> but it's, it's nice to see everybody it's nice to be back and engaged in the calls again too so um let's see just fixing in the calendar invite format a little bit. We have a nice big agenda and I saw that we have this nice new document as well that I definitely need to catch up on. Figured we'd give it a couple more minutes. Let's see, I see most of the number of the leads are here, which is good. So uh, would anyone like to volunteer to capture the notes and the uh, actions required from this meeting? I'll get them. Thank you. Thank you, definitely. Um, I was I was going to do it, but I, I'm sort of thinking I might need to be paying attention to the agenda because Archer laid out a nice template for us. Yeah, it's fine. You do that, I'll do um, this. We got it. Okay, great. Um, Okay, so part one, part one of our agenda is already done because we've got we've got a facilitator. Uh, let's see. Let's, oh, uh, okay. So, uh, cool. I'm supposed to introduce this thing that I just found out about this weekend, uh, <laughs> but I can do that. Um, so, some of you may or may not know. I guess we're we're kind of using a live document updating format. So, I'm pretty sure we're not ditching the videos, but this is like a place, for instance, we can go ahead and like link the videos. Um, let's see, uh, and give other status updates. Oh, okay, so this this particular document is 
I think just for organizational team updates. And so he's basically, the creators of the document made a nice table. I'll share it. Um, let's see, let's see. Main screen, okay, share. Okay, can everybody see? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Great, okay. I think, so um, just for those of you who again, haven't seen this yet, um, this is our new organizational update document. Um, and it's pretty nice. Um, from what I can see, it like sort of gives nice, uh, a nice template of who is, um, who is leading or who is the coordinator for the team, who is, you know, the point person for the team, um, what the team is doing. So this is, um, I guess, what we were supposed to take a look at today. It's just, okay, so this this one is just clear, clearly is just a template and it's just supposed to, I think, make it easier for us to see kind of amongst the chaos of all the different things we're doing, kind of a high level overview of what our main status is. So that's our new team progress document. And I'll go ahead and unshare as soon as I figure out, oh, stop share, okay. All right, I'm learning stuff too. Okay, um, so I think we have enough people here we can get started. It looks like comms is listed as the first team to give an update. Uh, Tyler's here, I don't know if Daniel's with us today, but would one of you like to give an update for comm? Um, I'm not really sure what's going on. Like on the external comm stuff, um, Ogali's kind of covering a lot more of that than I am right now. So she's probably a better point on that one. I kind of deal with it. I'm dealing with a bit more internal stuff and we're not really making any more progress right now. We've got, we, we just talked about yesterday, but you can, Ogali can uh, cover that if she wants. Are there um, any blockers to internal comm just before we get to Ogali stuff? Um, it's not necessarily blockers, it's about trying to develop the process. It, uh, the process is, we're trying to, I'm trying to get back in touch with, well, I need to get back in touch with um, Andrea because I've not seen her around it a bit because we need the, uh, the, skill, the skill tree document we've got works but um he's some he's missing a lot of people there's literally like at least 300 people missing off of it okay um what and i'm is, gonna and okay. i'm gonna try and formulate a way of trying to um i've been looking at um polls and and or surveys to try that out, that are going to be usable for the um for the membership so i can like send polls and polls or and or surveys out and say you know how involved do you are do you how involved do you want to be you know what sort of thing what teams are you actively involved with what tasks are you actively involved with just to get some information back from you know there's going to be people who are actively involved and will know them um even i mean it's really bad like it's got to a point where i can read through the anonymized list and like i know who that is i know who that is i know <laughs> there's like quite a lot of people i could just recognize just from the skill set and the description of them um but yeah, it's just trying to bring more than anything. I mean, I've been spent some of the morning looking through people who've been on, been actively on Slack a lot and not posting anything. And I'm going to reach out to them and see if I can work out, you know, if they are wanting to be involved and they can't work out where to be involved or if they just, they just want to read and they just want to observe from a distance. And that's obviously perfectly fine too. For transparency reason, I'm perfect. I've got no problem. People just knows, you know, what we're doing and not feeling like they have to contribute and but yeah that's kind of what i've been doing today and i'm yeah i've been doing personal stuff as well anyway yeah so it sounds it sounds to be like the priority of internal comm right now is basically to figure out why our um our official team roster and our slack membership are like there's a great discrepancy and try to like uh converse that gap a little bit is, was, yeah and trying to it? bring bring the information across as well to in the sense to like collating the usernames across to who they actually are on the the, the internal team database just got, again just it's about knowledge management and knowledge taking the silos together and bringing them into something that makes sense that's the okay. plan anyway great well ugly i'd love to hear an update from you too um so mainly i know daniel's also working on some external um, communications things although i'm not sure um what exactly but with what i'm working on um, in particular, I'm going to be following up with a communications uh, consultancy group that I 
um, has been in touch with, they are willing to help us with some internal communications, like structuring organization, as well as um, external communications things. Of course, yeah, they're I definitely like, like to be experts. with that call if it's possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the blocker on that is just trying to figure out or come to some consensus on exactly what they can help us with. Um, because they're they're available and they're on board. Um, they just need some specific pointers as to exactly where they can come in to help us. Um, so I don't know, maybe at the end when we have Q&A, we can um, come up with some, some pointers uh, to help me make the next move with them. Sounds Great. good. Yeah. Okay. I, that's exciting. Um, I, I'm also, I'm going to go ahead and say that that covers our human resources topic. Is that true? Okay, great. Let's move on then. Um, uh, okay. Maya, are you here? I am. Great. Yeah, uh, any updates from uh, Team Risk? Uh, uh, we are working on something uh, pretty cool. Uh, we believe that on uh, 15th, based on the uh, work that we've done, we will be capable of uh, starting uh, the wider extraction for more risk factors. And we will, uh, we will need uh, after 15th, maybe 16th of May, we will need annotators to help us a little bit. Okay, that sounds like an action required with a date, so that's good. So hopefully right. that's after. Right. Um, so yeah. <laughs> if there are, if it, it will be possible to till then, for example, uh, have uh, some people available for, for, for this task, it will be extremely helpful, okay? And I like, uh, I really hope that we will be capable of showing pretty nice results or maybe I'm over optimistic. Uh, we are doing uh, a little bit uh, different. We, are we took a little bit different approach. Uh, at the moment, uh, we are training the model. Uh, should, be, should be exciting. That does sound exciting. I'm very excited like great it's it's something crazy <laughs> all right well that's yeah that's exactly what uh, i am happy to hear great boost for morale for all of us i hope um dan i think i saw you here could we get a vt update hey guys uh not a ton of update everyone's making um kind of incremental progress the big thing for us today is that we're having a talk with dr betty corver who is an hiv, HIV virologist working on COVID or on sars2 stuff uh, we're going to see if we can make something that helps out with their group. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the main thing though, just, you know, continuing chugging along. Okay, any any blockers? Not at the moment, no. Great. Um, I'm going to take an opportunity at this moment uh, to say, since uh, we have uh, created a little subgroup for basically um, software engineering on the VT team, if you're a software engineer on this call or you know some software engineers who aren't doing enough stuff, we could use a couple of extra hands for sure to do some upcoming tasks for refactoring for VT. Does yes, that please. mean you need more software engineers? It means that, Tyler. <laughs> Help us, Tyler. Um, I, I, I reached out to everyone that you suggested already. Oh, no. <laughs> and thank you for suggesting everyone. OK, um, well, OK, so that's that's our first attempt uh, not to entirely so successful. You, so you reached out. And you heard nothing back. It's not enough. It's some, but again, where where we are? Because I think there was like seven or eight people I linked up, didn't I? I can't remember. It's been I've slept since then. Yeah, mostly no response, and then in a couple of cases, like got a little bit <clears throat> of response. Okay, but not enough to to get on with things, right? Yeah, we might need to I... we might need to start looking this at a slightly different angle then. But I'll see what I can do. Cool. Thank you. I think I said I was going to try to see if I could find any people I know too, so I, I should follow up on that myself. Um, uh, okay, great. So, um, Christine, are you here for ties or someone? Yep. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so, yeah, we don't have a lot of updates from yesterday, so we're training, well, we're uh, 
developing a few tools to extract data from papers, and we're actively collecting training examples from the whole data set. So I do have a question for, uh, I think, search, the search engine team. So we want to know if, um, what's the data set on uh, Elasticsearch at the moment? Is, which version is that? And we also noticed that uh, from the data verse, uh, the data set doesn't have sentences. So just wondering what's the version update at the moment. And that's not like a huge blocker, but we are uh, actually waiting on that to be able to get our examples. Um, yeah, so that's one thing. And then the other thing is uh, uh, we have someone, Dimitro, working on uh, building the knowledge graph. And we have a few uh, domain experts reaching out what today. Uh, so I'm hoping to uh, get more feedback and inputs from them to see how they can help us build in this knowledge graph. OK. Anything that you could use uh, help with from anyone here? Uh, not, not at the moment. I think we're doing well. And uh, just the, yeah, the the data, the search engine issue. OK. Great. Um, well, thank you for the, the detailed update. Um, Can I ask a question, or it's not a time for questions yet? We have one more uh, major core team to get an update from. But if it's relevant, let's do it now. Uh, uh, the, the document with the responsibilities and teams, right, and updating the progress, I failed to found it, but I kind of, I, I think I probably should feel it, right? You, you should, I'm sorry, you should, you should be able to what? Uh, there is a table with teams and current progress. Yeah, yes. it's linked, it's linked in the general call. Yes, and it, at, at this point, it looks like it is only a template. So I oh, okay. actually, personally, I went clear. It's we're supposed not to a actually template. Actively this is not a template. This is Hi, just filling it <laughs> I'm filling it in right now. So yeah, it's definitely not a template. I'm super okay. confused now. Maybe I Can looked at the wrong one. It's very empty right now, is what I'm saying. That's because it only exists since yesterday. Cool. All ah, right. Ah, OK. <laughs> yeah, so this is one document that will have uh, every day we'll create a new kind of new day to it and essentially we'll keep adding to it and as we formalize the list of teams it will look more filled in but you know for yesterday for example when you scroll down there is a general update so there's going to be general organizational update stuff and then there will be team update stuff so the same pattern goes for today um, we have yet to fill in the org updates here, but the team updates is being filled by Tyler as we speak. I see. Okay. So actually, question about that. Tyler, are you actively editing this document while we're having the meeting? Yes, it's where my cool. notes are going. Cool. All right. I'm uh, learning a rather lot. Than making, rather than making notes in three places, we're making one note in one place, and it's I going to be the persistent notes. I love this so much because I have notes just scattered in other places for meetings. So yeah, this is great. Um, and then the idea for now is each day will go on top of the next day so you can look at yesterday's notes and the day before's notes and it will get to a point where it becomes unwieldy and ridiculous but we're not quite at that stage yet and hopefully we'll be able to make, come up with a better system before it becomes unwieldy and ridiculous okay. exactly well Archer, so since you weren't here earlier in the call when i explained this poorly thank you for saving that topic <laughs> no problem so where, where can we find this link like uh it's there or right that's it's in the that's general the call question. in general it's it literally is. linked oh, in the general call in general. now too just for for convenience but yeah it, it is right there um in the comment posted by archer at like 9 52 today whoops uh yes exactly great thank you okay. and we should probably so, pin it to general uh and no, I think we'll, we'll just well I'll just copy paste it into general into the comment into the um general chat for now put it actually into the um topic because then yeah. it can be found hey well I think uh, we should still get our update from team geo 
if there's anyone from Team Geo here. Ooh. I don't think I think um Daniel's not been as available, I don't think yesterday when he was he was in call yesterday, wasn't he? So I yeah, don't know Daniel's how fast wide loaded with uh, his yeah. work and Manuel is still recovering, but they're catching up and they're working on uh loading all the data into Dataverse. Okay. How's uh, I I've I've not heard the the news on Manuel. I'm sorry to hear that he's still not in fine fettle. Um so hope things are, are going okay. Um Okay, so then I, I see here that Archer, you listed team ontology types of papers and discovery engine and search engine and data sets. So we have like basically our other teams are listed here. And I guess basically is this the point where we just ask for anybody who wants to give an update from those teams? Correct. Okay. Um, well, our VT engineers team isn't listed there. Since nobody is speaking, I guess I could also mention, I mentioned earlier that we're looking for a few software engineers to help. Another thing though, that we were talking about at our, um, our kickoff meeting for the uh, vaccine team engineers, uh, software engineers, was mostly just like a system for how we might do some a large refactor because there's always, already there's quite a bit of stuff because we've been working at this for a while now. Um, so anytime you have that, you want to minimize, obviously, the amount of um, overhead, the amount of like risk to your existing system, while you still at the same time try to improve the architecture of the system so that it's more maintainable in the future, more scalable, all those things. Um, so I guess the result of that meeting is one of our guys is helping us learn how to implement some auto documentation. And I suggested a list of places we could start to make over the code so that, you know, we kind of trim the fat out of the code, you know, stuff we don't want and um, that we also get the people who wrote the code to at least provide basic comments for the important pieces of the code to what I described as a general technical audience, meaning like, let's say you just got an intern and you want them to help you with your code, but they don't, they don't know the problem deeply yet and they don't know the, the code that exists yet. So explain it in, in sort of ge in general terms to somebody who's new. Um, that'll help also people who are trying to do like focus just on refactoring that helps us a lot as well and it helps make good um, man pages if we want to do that. Um, so we're kind of we're kind of asking, I guess, our, our, our leads within VT to help us execute this task and then the goal is after they've done that maybe like the people who are focused on software engineering can do a lot of stuff without having to ask for a lot of work from them, but also do it in a way that it's not going to break everything. Um, so I'm bringing that up in case there are some other people from VT here who might be interested in hearing that. Um, and I guess I think we have enough time for Q and A at this point. I've got a little something to say because I've um, been playing around with Slack's setup recently, and um, I've changed the way that profiles can document information. And I figured I'd show that off so hey guys, people. Can um, uh, it, yeah. Sorry for interrupting. Um, we should still attempt to go through the list of these uh, teams and ask if there is a quick update. I see Isaac here with the team patient forecasting, and I'm sure uh, he can he can say uh, quite quite some stuff about the the updates. Isaac. Yep. Sure. Um, so on our side, we're still working to get our baseline metrics established. Um, we have made some progress with that. I think we now have around 40 or 50 of the total 130 or so counties. Um, we now have mo at least basic models that can forecast on those. So that's gonna serve as our baseline. Um, and then to improve those, we're currently working on training some models with, on other time series data to try to leverage transfer learning. Um, so yeah, those are the big updates from today. And then once we're past Wednesday, we're going to start incorporating mobility data, um, UV data, and other data to also kind of improve those models on the horizontal scale. So with more features at each time step. If you could, if you could just update that into the, because I kind of got some of that, but if you could update that into into that little box, that would be fantastic. Because yeah, it's hard to it's hard to write as fast as people speak. I should know. <laughs> okay, sure. This is in the document, right? Or yeah, there's just put a little one little box. Team patient forecasting. I mean, I started it off, but yeah, it, it's here. Great. Excellent. 
And I think we have Ali uh, from the uh, team social metadata, right? Ali, are you here? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm here. Yeah. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, so, uh, so regarding the metadata, um, we are working with uh, different uh, uh, different resources in order to extract relevant tweets around the scientific papers uh, that are associated with the either vaccine or therapeutics of COVID uh, two hundred and nine. Um, so far, we have been able to extract only close to three thousand tweets. Uh, but uh, one of our members is working on hydrated tweets, so he shall be uh, done within an uh, We shall oh. be updating soon. I'm sorry, Ollie, to interrupt. Uh, I don't know if it's just on my end, but I, I heard you kind of slow down for that last few set of words. No, I went out robot if I may too. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, so one of our members is working on a script uh, to get the hydrated tweets. So he shall be done within one and a half days. Uh, we sh okay. Um, sorry, Ali, mm -hmm. we're having a little trouble with your bandwidth, but we got that you, you should have an update in one and a half days. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, and when great. you say and when you say hydrating, I think I get what it means. But can you give me a layman's version of it for anyone who doesn't know? What I it actually means? have no idea. Uh, what that means <laughs> Taking something from old and dry and making it usable because it's wet, <laughs> bring it, so, bringing it back uh, to life. So, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so as to so as to, so as to get the get the context of the tweet, uh, where was it used? Basically, it's uh, what we want is the text. But uh, since he's working on the on on who who said it, when when was the time, uh, and what reply, and things like that. But uh, what we want is the is the text. Yeah. So I can also speak a little bit about that. It's um because. Uh, for the Twitter data set, it's only the Twitter IDs that can be shared publicly. And we need to uh, hydrate basically to get the actual tweets using those Twitter IDs. So that's uh, what we mean by hydrating it. So right yeah. now the data set only yeah. has IDs and we need to query yeah. the Twitter API to get the whole tweets, including yeah. the text, body text and uh, um, the user information and um, Whatever other metadata that includes in the tweet, the, the the entire context of the tweet. That's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. I understand that completely. What that is now. Thank you very much for the simple <laughs> simplification for the people like me. <laughs> Anytime, man. You're yeah, very welcome. <laughs> but that quick question. But then the issue is that you can't host uh, hydro tweets on Dataverse and stuff. I imagine. Yes, so I think we'll need right. to uh, get rid of uh, user information before we share the data set of mm -hmm. the others. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they allow you like unlimited Twitter API queries? There's a rate limit per day. That's why it's taking so long. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't surprise me there's a limit because otherwise people could rate bots yeah. that literally would literally pull the whole of Twitter down. <laughs> just <laughs> just one big one big process of just stripping Twitter for everything. Yeah. Uh, that, that is what we actually want, but it, we are not getting it. So we are running it again and again. Um, I, I can't imagine how many billions of tweets there exist out there. So mm -hmm. it's probably a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Well, fingers are crossed, right? Um, as as um as an aside, then last couple of minutes, if I can, I'm just just so for my clarity, it's more than anything, I figured to show what this uh, slightly up upgraded version of um. I can't. No, no, I can't share my screen. I don't think. Uh, do you want to send a link or something that that one of the other people could share? No, I was going to share my. I was literally going to just show my share my Slack and show that this is how we edit. You can update your profile and put the extra information in. But it's fine. 
Um, yeah, I don't know why I can't share my screen. The big one. Ha. Huh. Um, Archer, are we the only people who can share? No, anyone can share unless Zoom no. changed something. Normally, it's yeah. Normally, anyone and everyone can share. But I didn't make this host. I didn't make this call, so I don't know. Mm. Okay, well, perhaps we could revisit this uh, tomorrow, and or you it's could fine. post a, a screenshot for us, maybe as well. In yeah, general. well, it's yeah. I'll I'll po post a link in general to my conversation in in communications. I think it was in. Um, yeah, it basically it'll show like. Um, um, basically, the idea is there's there's a main team and then a role, and in the main team you put the main team you're working in, and then the role you were doing within it. If there's any roles that are missing or and or main teams that are missing, let me know. I'll add them in because I think I've come up with a lot of things, but there's a lot of roles that I don't understand, or I don't know. I mean, I've simplified things into like data engineer or data, you know I've I've grouped things into what makes sense to me, but there's probably roles that I don't know because there's so many different layers of things going on. But yeah, that's fine. I think mine is wildly out of date too. Um, okay, well, we've got one minute left. Is there anything else anyone wants to bring up? Uh, I have one quick thing, kind of a, a quick win. So we've um, integrated the Altmetric uh, API, which is basically the system that shows um, the tweets uh, data for uh, papers. And now this quick MVP of tables also shows number of tweets. Um, so let's see if there's, yeah. Which uh, again, uh, I asked Dr. Tayeb if this is helpful. He said that it's questionable because, you know, usually bad and fake papers are getting the most attention. So most probably sentiment analysis for those is gonna be the, the crucial thing to, to integrate because, um, you know, just having these also, uh, sorry to interrupt. Can we can we get uh, get get these tweets? Yeah, so it comes from Altmetric uh, API. It's not really the tweets. It's the um, it's the platform that aggregates all of this data. Hold on, it, it loads, and they expose uh, basically the the count of tweets. And that's uh, something that we can easily grab from there. But you can also see that there is, uh, you know, I think a complete list of all people mentioning papers. Uh, I think we can use API to actually get the tweets if that's uh, what you're asking. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll yeah, send yeah, you the yeah. API key. This is, this is very, very good. I'll link to sure, this. Sure, sure. Sure, that, that should be very helpful, man. All right, Great. sounds good. That's it for me. Okay, well, if there's nothing else for today, I think we can go ahead and end this meeting. Um, and great meeting. See you guys, uh, I'll see you guys at least on Wednesday, and uh, if not, tomorrow. Have a great day. Great. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye -bye. Have a good day, guys. Cheers. Thank you very Bye -bye. much, everybody.